When the first electric motors was installed on mountain bikes, conservative fans were predicting impending doom for the sport. But in reality, this technological advancement attracted countless new riders who are ready to further revolutionize the industry and aim for new records. In this video, we will be exploring the newest EMTBS of 2021 and 2022 model years that possess more powerful and efficient motors, high spec suspensions and lighter frames. Before we get to the episode, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We guarantee you a constant stream of electric news. Let's get technical. The two letter addition to the Kinevo nameplate means that you own a super light version of the extremely robust EMTB. This time the Californian brand sets the bar of trail performance even higher by using a full carbon monocoque frame and shaving 12 pounds off the regular Kinevo. Furthermore, the company adds their next level six bar suspension platform with leverage rates, spring curves, dampening, and other features specialized optimized for 170 millimeters of travel and 29 inch wheels. The Kinevo SL is powered by the specialized 1.1 motor system, producing 26 pound feet of torque. Both the 240 watt motor and the compact battery are integrated into the chassis to provide maximum handling responsiveness while reducing the inertia moment. Aiming to rival the mountain bikes from Specialized, the Rise is a new mid-travel EMTB model that is built around the customized version of Shimano EP8 RS motor. The latter is restricted to produce less torque, 44 instead of 63 pound-feet, and has a less aggressive assistance profile. The bike uses a full carbon monocoque frame with an integrated 360 watt-hour battery. Additionally, there is an optional range extender with 252 watt-hour capacity. The Rise is available in four modifications, all equipped with a full suspension setup from Fox. Depending on the chosen one, the Orbe weighs between 36 and 40 pounds, claiming a spot among the lightest models in its class. The Italian motorbike manufacturer goes back to its roots when engines were mounted on bicycles to create first Ducati Cucciolos. In modern days, they cooperate with Thok e-bikes to produce mountain bikes powered by pedal assist electric motors. Their latest announcements are the Ducati MIG S and the TK01RR, the e-enduros equipped with high-end components for the most challenging use. The lower end MIG S is taking advantage of the proven Shimano Steps E8000 motor, but the TK goes for the new Shimano EP8 that offers higher torque of 63 pound-feet and 400% of pedal assist power. The rest of the components are sourced from Fox, Olin's, SRAM, and Marzocchi. In 2021, the Andorra-based Forestral is launching its first trail bike that will conquer technical trails and rocky backgrounds with the help of the brand's Eon Drive motor co-developing with Bafang. The 250-watt unit peaks at 44 pound-feet and comes paired to an integrated 360-watt-hour battery. The bike is built on the usual carbon fiber monocoque frame with asymmetric design with 150 millimeters of suspension travel. It also gets a smart dash with a 3.2-inch screen that boasts built-in GPS as well as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi app connectivity. The new Scion is offered in three variants, Halo, Neon, and Diode, with the flagship one getting the top-of-the-line Olin suspension, SRAM AXS drivetrain, and MT-07 brakes from Magura.
This fully fledged trail bike range brings notable updates for the 2021 model year, such as revised geometry, updated heavy duty suspension, and a bigger standard battery. The Levo specialized 2.1 motor system is backed up with a mission control app that can handle battery management automatically, meaning that the larger 700 watt hour pack is capable to assist up to 5.5 hours of riding. Becoming smaller and lighter than in the previous model, the motor also gets new software and drive belt and delivers 565 watts of peak power and 66 pound-feet of peak torque. Suspension-wise, the Levo has an initially rearward axle path and, depending on the chosen model, is backed up by Rock Shock or Fox Float units on both sides. In this model, the Ferndale Washington-based Kona crosses its best-selling Process 134 and Remote 160 bikes to create the ultimate trail rider with electric pedal assist. The model uses 6061 aluminum for the frame, while its geometry mimics that of the Process. As its name suggests, the bike offers 130 millimeters of rear suspension travel and it also gets performance float rear shock from Fox. Up front, the system is assisted by the Fox Rhythm 34 float fork with 140 millimeters of travel. The propulsion components include the E7000 motor and the 12-speed drivetrain from Shimano, as well as the 504-watt-hour battery pack installed into the frame tube. The fun is still on with Canyon Spectral that gets the usual slate of upgrades as the new model year approaches. There are six units in total specified as CF6 through CF9. The most crucial change is of course the Shimano Steps EP8 mid-mounted motor that replaces last year's Steps E8000 and a larger 630 watt hour battery. This setup delivers 63 pound feet of torque, effectively tripling the rider's power. Besides improved specifications, the drivetrain is controlled with new algorithms and the Shimano E-Tube smartphone app allows to custom tune the rider's profile. The bike gets a full stock suspension, either from Fox or RockShock, offering 5.9 inches of travel and mismatched wheels, 29 inch front and 27.5 rear. Commensal Bicycles and Skis has already had 20 years to refine their skills to manufacturing downhill and freeride bicycles. The Metapower TR aka Trail model belongs to the line of electrified Enduros that are ready to take on any challenge. In 2021, it was updated with the Shimano EP8 motor and a larger frame integrated battery with 630 watt hour capacity. It is built around the Contact System 4 bar linkage, which is a system designed to bring more dynamism and efficiency to pedaling. Front suspension is represented by Fox 36 factory grip 2 rocks with 150 millimeters of travel, while the rear shock is rated for 140 millimeters. Participate in the conversation below the video and mention your favorite electric vehicle from today's lineup. Like this video to support the electric revolution and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss the latest EV news. Check out the suggested episodes on the screen and we'll see you later.